roster tab of your course, you will see all of the students enrolled in your course, as well as anyone listed as a professor. So in here, if I scroll, notice I can go through the list, and here I see name, role, email. For students, I will also see rank and major. These will only show for Denison students, which is why even though I have Trent listed in the role of a student, since he's actually a staff member, it's not going to show up there. It will also show the last access date. So we can see here that Cheryl and I'm a, I'm a student have recently accessed this course. If the students had a grade listed, it would also show overall grade here. Please do not attempt to remove any students from the roster tab. So do not drop students out. Also, do not try to edit the student role. All of that information comes into NOPL from Banner based on course enrollment, and you cannot change students in the NOPL side. If students wish to drop your course, they should go through the registrar's office and fill out a drop form. You can temporarily add students to a course. How that works is clicking Add Users. You can choose a student. So for example, if I choose Donnie and I want to add her as a student because I know she is filling out the add slip and taking that to the registrar's office tomorrow, I could add her to this course. But please note that since your courses are academic courses in Noble that come in from Banner, that student will be dropped at the add drop date if they have not completed the form through the registrar's office. So again, you can temporarily add a student to your course, but it will only hold their place until the add drop date. And at that time, they will be removed if they have not officially registered. A few other things to know about the roster tab. You can go ahead and click this download with the down pointing arrow to download a CSV of your full roster. You can also email students. First, you need to select who you want to email. So you can choose the whole class by clicking the top check, or you could choose just a few students. And then you can choose email selected users. You could also attach something in the email and hit send there. Now, one of the newer features in Noble is once you send an email, you can actually view your sent emails by clicking the email there. Every single email will be listed, so it will show each individual recipient that you've sent to. And please note that it is sorted by the sent on day and time. So if you scroll down, you will see these are the two I just sent. You can also view the emails by clicking on the little magnifying glass to the right, and it will open in another tab. Another thing to note about the roster tab is you have this groups area in the roster tab. Now groups are a great way to put students together uh, for different assignments or for different discussion board groups. So they're very useful if you know you have a set of students who will be working together throughout the semester on something in particular that you may need to sub-assign to. And I will talk a little bit more about sub-assigning once we get into assignments. But just know that the groups tab is here and you can add groups. If you have multiple sections in a course, that will import in and it will show up in your groups area as section one or section two, etc. To make a group, you just hit add group and you can give it a name. So I'm just going to call this first group, group A, and I can start adding users to group A by typing in their names and choosing. Once I have group A done, I just click create. And now group A is available in my roster tab. You can edit your groups at any time by clicking on the pencil there. Please note that students do not see the groups area. So if you need to do grouping for any reason, uh, for record keeping purposes of your own, you can do that here and students will not see the groups in the roster tab. Next, we're going to discuss some of the documents tab.